Welcome to this tutorial brought to you by River City Graphics. Today's tutorial is going to be on creating a glossy button in Photoshop. So to get us started I'm going to go to File, New, and then I'm going to make a document 500 pixels by 500 pixels. Then I'm going to click OK. Now I'm going to make my uh, background black so I'm just going to click the uh, default colors here and then hit Alt Delete to fill that with black. And then I'm going to grab the ellipse tool because we're going to be making a round uh, glossy button. And I'm going to grab a color uh, by clicking up there and then I'll select a color on the palette here something of uh, like a darker blue uh, color and I'll click OK then we're going to draw a circle in the middle I'm just going to hold shift to make that and uh, holding shift ensures that you get a nice perfect circle uh, rather than an oval and once we have that we're going to create a new layer and then we're going to create a second circle and that one needs to be white so pull up your colors and then type in six F's or you can just come up to the very top corner um, but 6F's is the hex code for uh, pure white so I'm going to hold shift again and then I'm going to drag out a circle and now this circle needs to be positioned right at the bottom of your first blue circle uh, in the middle of it and you need to make sure that you have like a crescent moon type shape uh, of your first colored um, circle underneath that so now what you're going to do is go to your layer, uh, your blend options, and you're going to go down to overlay. So you can see that it has uh, added a uh, lighter color over the top. So now what we're going to do is filter this, and we're going to do blur, Gaussian blur. And it's going to ask us to rasterize this, um, but it'll be okay. So we're just going to click OK. And then we're going to put this up. Uh, you might, I'm going to put it up at 10. That looks about right for my uh, purpose. Um, depending on how big your button is depends on how many pixels you're going to need to blur this so just make sure that it looks uh, about the same as that it might be more or less depending on the size of your button so I'm going to click OK and now I'm going to make a new layer and we're going to make another shape with the ellipse tool and this time we're not going to hold shift we're going to just make an oval uh, to go at the top for our highlight and just release it when you're ready and uh, you can always change the size of that later and then I'm just going to position it with the arrow keys you need to make sure that it's close to the top but that there's like a little rim of the uh, the color you don't want it to be flush up against there um, so I'm leaving a bit of a rim up there and I think I might need to make it a little bit smaller vertically so I think that that looks about right so now basically what we're going to do is use this shape for its shape um, not for the color that it gives us. So we're going to hold control and then we're going to click on this gray box over here and what that's going to do is it's going to put a marquee around the outside uh, of this shape and then we're going to turn this out we're going to turn this off and you can see you have your little uh, selection around here. Now we're going to create another layer and then in that layer we're going to fill it with a gradient. So with uh, I'm going to grab my gradient tool and you're going to want to make sure you select this gradient right here. Uh, it's the second one over for me. Um, if you have to create it, it's uh, white and then it goes to transparent. So I'm going to click OK and then I'm going to hold shift at the top and then drag down to the very bottom of our selection and then let go. So now we have a pretty good highlight uh, but we're going to go up to filter and then down to blur and then to Gaussian blur and this one doesn't need to be blurred as much um, for the highlight so we just need it to be about maybe like 2.5 maybe less let's make it 1.5 um, just to kind of give it some blur but we don't want to um, blow it out to where you can't really see the highlight so now you can see that we have a pretty good uh, glossy button that you could use for uh, print or for web design or for anything that you want um, so I hope that you guys enjoyed this tutorial I hope that you learned something don't forget to subscribe rate and comment and I'll see you in the next video thanks